Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, often with beach, travel, or Huga themes. I also do a little bit of stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, home decor, even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you find out whenever I post new videos. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. I will have another giveaway coming up very soon. It will be announced during my Q&A video where I answer some questions that some of you submitted in the first part of that giveaway. But today I have one of my favorite monthly lifestyle boxes and that is a Life's A Wave. And in case you couldn't already tell by the name of this subscription, it is a beach themed subscription. This is one of the few monthly beach themed subscriptions that's out there and I just think she does such a fantastic job sourcing beautiful items often from small businesses. And the presentation of this box is second to none. It is always so beautiful. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. The box is $49.95 per month plus $7.95 in shipping, but if you're interested in trying it out or getting a box for a friend, you can save 10% using the code MauiNoel10. As always, I'll put all of that information for you in the description box below, but let's go ahead and see what kind of ocean-inspired goodies we've got for this month. It's always so full. I'm just like so impressed with how much she manages to squeeze in there. And then, like I said, the presentation is always pretty. It's very simple on top. We just have a little beach ball sticker, kind of keeping everything bundled in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move all of the like paperwork that we have, all of the like information that's inside. And then here is what I was talking about, you guys. She always has some sort of beach decor in there, whether it's seashells or sea glass. It looks like we've got a combination of the two this time, as well as some treats. There's usually some saltwater taffy or some chocolates or some candy. So it's always a treat. I've been saving all of the decorations, all of the shells and things because I've said it before, but I'll say it again in case this is the first time you see me unbox Life's a Wave. All of these shells I'm saving to put in a big hurricane glass one day, you know, different layers. So it's like a seascape trifle of sorts. But I just think it's so amazing when she actually gives us these huge pieces like this beautiful shell. Let me just go ahead and move that out of the way. There is a bunch of them. It always takes me a few moments to kind of move everything over so it doesn't go crashing to the ground but these are some hefty shells this time around sometimes we get teeny tiny ones sometimes we get these bigger ones but these are gorgeous and I love using these to take some photos for over on Instagram you guys know that's one of my favorite things to do but let me go ahead and see if I can move some more we've got some more little like hard candies and I always take all of the candies that I get in the subscription and put them into a little candy dish and then my husband and I kind of work through them through the month which is of course always really fun to have some some treats in the house but let me see if I can kind of carefully move this shred and all of the uh, candies and shells out of the way without making too much of a mess. I think I got that top layer. So now we can look at some of our paperwork before we dive into all the goodies. There's always a little card that tells you a little bit more about Life's a Wave and she usually embellishes it with a little handwritten note. It says, hi, our fun mermaid Noelle, your Life's a Wave box full of ocean, beach, and eco fun has arrived. We're very grateful to have you as a mermaid sister on this exciting journey. It says, summertime is upon us that means it's time for lots of mermaid fun and games love love your mermaid sisters because she calls all of the subscribers mermaids which I think is really cute and then they always donate part of the proceeds of this box to some sort of eco-friendly organization and this time it is the turtle conservancy and I love that any box with a mission is a uh, a okay by me, especially if it is, of course, like in conjunction with the theme of the box itself. And then finally, uh, there's some other little pieces of paper talking about being a part of the Life's Away family, but this is the important one. So every box is themed and called something beach that sort of is evocative of the theme. So this is easy. It's the fun and games beach box, and it tells us all of the different items. She just kind of writes it in like a little story form and sometimes emboldens the uh, letters that tell us about the actual uh, company so that's the best way for me to kind of find everything on here but she doesn't include the retail values I do think you're always getting your money's worth in this box and again part of it is that curation and experience but it's not necessarily a super high value box where you're gonna get like three times what you paid for it but it is just so beautiful and I do really think it would be a fantastic treat for yourself or a loved one who loves the beach it says your box is packed with mermaid love and is topped off with colorful beach ball candy shells and sea glass so we got all 
all the things this time. I'm going to go ahead and prop this up in front of me so that I can reference it as we get into the items and I will kind of hunt and try to find them here on the card to tell you a little bit more about them. They also have an Etsy shop, so if you ever see anything in here and it's, you know, it's we're, we're already moving on to the next box, you can definitely check the Life's Away the Etsy shop to see if they have any of those products in there that you can buy as a one-off. So the first thing I'm seeing is actually like individually wrapped, which I always think it's so much fun when boxes do that. So it's really, again, part of that experience. And it kind of shows you like the time and care that goes into creating each box, packaging everything up. It just, it's all done with so much love. There's so many like shells and bits in here. I'm gonna have to kind of move around. So lots of shell dust in my lap now. All right, well, whatever this is, it got a little bit crushed, but that's okay. This is by Cougar, which is interesting. That is a brand that I just got in a Bombay and Cedar beauty box. It says it is by Paula Dunn. It's Brazilian Papaya Moisturizer, daily regeneration and conditioning boost for your face. So my box got a little bit crushed, but I'm sure everything inside is just fine. That's like, I'm kind of glad that there was that extra packaging of the box. But now I am not a personal fan of papaya like I just don't like the flavor and I love almost every fruit but papaya is just one that like I've never really enjoyed but I do know that it has like great properties and that it's really good for you so this is just easy it just says after cleansing smooth gently into your face and neck using upward and outward movements so let's see I'm sure it smells good I actually like the scent of papaya I just don't necessarily like to eat it so I'm sure this will be great it's a little 1.7 fluid ounce little uh, lotion bottle so let's see what it says about this. It says, if you got a little too much sun, use this Brazilian papaya moisturizer on your face to regenerate, condition, and boost your glowing skin. This retails for $27. That is crazy for a little bottle like this, but that is the first time I think I've ever seen a retail value in here, and it was worth mentioning, I guess, because it is such a high retail value, so I'll have to look into that brand. Let's look at another little um, individually wrapped item that actually has a tag on it. Now, this is something that I have seen appear in several different subscriptions subscription boxes and I've gotten it in various sizes and various scents and I do think it is a really cool um, sort of novel item to have in a box and of course she picked a very appropriate scent so this is pinch me therapy dough which is basically like play-doh for grown-ups but it is really nice to have that like tactile like sensation to kind of play around with it and it is in the scent of ocean which of course it's got like that nice blue color as well but I'm actually gonna go ahead and open it up because I, I have passed some some of these on when I have received these and I have also like held on to them because after a while they do dry out but they are really fun I know sometimes people like to put them in the refrigerator so that they're a little bit cooler um, but I know that I really love this ocean scent and this is not a cheap item either like if you've gone if, or I have gone onto their actual website to see about buying it and like the bigger sizes are they're pretty pricey so it says refocus rebalance and restore and then it's always cute because on top it usually is imprinted with the word pinch me, which is kind of cute, but it smells so good, you guys. It doesn't have that Play-Doh scent at all. You know what I'm talking about? Although that's kind of like nostalgic for me when I do smell that. This smells like the ocean. It is just so lovely. I, I love this scent. I wish they did like candles too. It says after a long day at the beach playing games and it's time to unwind, play this ocean pinch play with this Ocean Pinch Me Therapy Dough from Small Business Pinch Me Dough. So it that is a great item. So, so far, two awesome items that I'm sure smell really great. I didn't actually smell the papaya lotion. I need to. Oh, that smells good. See, it doesn't necessarily even smell like papaya to me. It just smells like tropical fruity goodness. So I will probably actually use that. And all right, let's keep going. I can't believe I didn't smell that the first time through. All right, the next thing I am seeing is very flat, and I'm just gonna get some of that shred and, and uh, seashell dust off of it. It's almost like sand from the beach. Uh, it's Santa Barbara Roasting Company, I think, coffee. How cool. So it's just this little flat package. This is actually awesome because we have plans to go away for a week and we're like renting a house with my folks and they just have a coffee maker. They don't have like a carrig or anything. So I needed some little packets of coffee. So I'm really excited about this. Let's see if I can find this on here somewhere. It says, enjoy sipping on a locally roasted coffee that brings you to the beautiful Santa Barbara beaches nice and simple so I'll have to look up this company but she is located in Santa Barbara life's a wave is so again we get a lot of items from there which is lovely I appreciate uh, supporting small businesses the next thing 
another thing that's all wrapped up in its own little package and it says Sue made that it's an Etsy shop that's a that's a pretty cute name for a shop this is tied up pretty pretty tightly so let me go ahead and see it says our sweet mermaid Sue made that handmade this set of beachy reusable coffee tea stir spoons exclusively for you everyone will be talking about these go check out all her cute items on her Etsy shop that's cool so it's kind of neat that I love when um boxes pair things together so we got our little stir spoons to go along with our coffee which is really cute there's just there's more tape on here than I thought it's very invisible tape so I was like why isn't this opening more easily I'm almost there so using my handy dandy scissors to kind of sneak in there I'm still <laughs> I'm still unwrapping. Sue Sue did that, and Sue's really good at wrapping things up, or or <laughs> Lara's really good at wrapping things up, because I cannot get in here. I'm almost there. Here we go. I can see I can see spoons. Alright, so here are some really cute, simple, like they're just like look disposable wooden spoons, but then she has imprinted beautiful little designs on them. So that is really cute. I love that circular one. They look like they're all different. How fun. So that is really neat. They must be like some kind of ink or printing that's not going to be like detrimental to whatever you're stirring. But I love that. And here's another design right here. So it looks like there's three designs and we got two of each. I think those are so cute. What a cute thing to have out at your like little coffee station or something in your home, especially if you have like a really beachy home. So that is adorable. Let's see what else we've got. So this was one of the spoilers over on Instagram. And if you haven't already followed Life's a Wave over on Instagram, she does usually do a few spoilers for each month, which is really fun. So this is a tic-tac-toe game made out of like um, wood burn burned wood, uh, basically. And I just think it is so cute. So it's little turtles and seashells. So you can play tic-tac-toe. Now, I don't necessarily need it to say Life's a Wave on there. I'm like one of those people who is not like a huge fan of when boxes brand things with their own name on them um, just because sometimes I like to re-gift things like this and like my friends might not necessarily know what life's a wave is even though I feel like life's a wave is like a saying that people will understand so there is like uh, let's see there's five of each pattern let me see if I can hold it up see if I hold it up to you now they're all gonna fall out but it is so cute they kind of sit into those little squares but it feels really really well made so let me just hold up the individual little shells and turtles which I would be the turtle um, if I had to pick but of course they're both really adorable so let's see it says we're so excited to feature southern grit decor they design these fun handmade tic-tac-toe beach themed games just for our mermaids that will entertain you for hours with sister mermaids so hopefully I have a like cute little like drawstring bag that I can keep all of those in because it just came in the plastic so of course you want to keep all of those pieces nice and safe but this is really adorable um, really fun to use and I think that's kind of a cool item sort of the like hero item this time around and of course we have more information about them and then the next thing that I am seeing is a scarf I think how fun so it looks like it is and look at this beach um, scene that's on here you guys this is a very super soft scarf very like gauzy and light but all those colorful umbrellas and towels it actually kind of reminds me of a tumbler that I just got that has a lot of umbrellas and towels how fun so let's see how big this is it says it's from printed village um, really cute and it's like oh even the edges you guys are like the water so it's all that like tan is where the beach part is and then we have in the water there's like the waves and everything and I think there's water let's see there's just water on the one edge wow this is a really big scarf so it goes all the way like this and this the water is a little bit diagonal so it gets a little bit wider at one side this is really pretty. I actually think that's just lovely and it's big. It's not just like one that you can do like thinly around your neck a couple of times. Like this is big enough to be like a little pareo, like a little wrap that you could wear as a skirt at the beach or even a full on dress. I think that's really adorable. It says, since summer is upon us, this beautiful large beach life printed scarf designed by the beautiful mermaid Christine Johansson will keep you warm and stylish on a summer night. This is my favorite item in the whole box and we get so many like fashion scarves and wraps and things 
things but I just think that the pattern the print is so beautiful and cute and it's like a great size to have like in your car or your beach bag um, I would probably use it more as a cover-up than you know like a shawl or anything but that's definitely my favorite item in this box this was so fun so let me just go over everything that was in this awesome life's a wave this was a good one I think so we got uh, the beautiful kind of specially exclusively made life's a wave uh, tic-tac-toe set we got our uh, beautiful printed scarf I love this so so much we got a nice packet of Santa Barbara roasted coffee which sounds delicious we got the very cute set of six uh, spoons to stir your coffee with we got our pinch me therapy dough which you guys I wish you could smell it it smells so good and it is so fun to play with and then finally we got our Brazilian papaya moisturizer which even though I don't like to eat papaya I think this will smell really nice when I'm sort of moisturizing and zhuzhing up my face in the morning or like they suggested after a long day at the beach let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was in this awesome life's a wave box if you appreciated this video please do give it a thumbs up it definitely helps my channel out and hopefully I see you all very very soon in my next unboxing.